Now, this Ice Spice album is, <laughs> well, what is going on in the female hip hop space? I feel bad for being hard on Megan and JT at this point. I have been trying to re-listen to this album since my first listen and I can't even get through it. But for some of you, this might be the album of the year. Well, let's have a conversation about it because this is Wu Chow. Child, they are picking up my call when I tell you this has been rough. Maybe I'm the problem. Maybe I walked into this album having too big of an expectation, but the gag is I really had no expectation for this album at all. It sounded as much as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be about her thong and her poopies. I knew the album was going to be a she's in her mood extended version, pretty much, you know? Ooh, child. First of all, she opened up this album with Fat Butt. I don't have a long, this won't be a long call, by the way, because I don't have a lot to say about this album besides it being god awful. Like the worst album of the 2020s, for sure. If not number one worst album of the 2020s, but it's one of the worst albums of the 2020s. It is that bad. And I'm not even trying to be funny. She uploaded this album with Fat Butt. I hate this song so much. It is Nicki coded. It's trying to be Nicki. It's trying to be something that is not. It's terrible. Then the song with uh, her and Travis Scott was a disappointment, but a disappointment on Travis end for me because Travis is one of my favorite rappers. But when I tell you, I felt like Travis was dumbing his abilities down to like match whatever inadequacies she has in rapping in general. It was like, Travis, really? Oh, and you best believe Capital paid a nasty fee for Travis to be on this album. Oh, for sure. I know for a fact that feature was very expensive. Very, very expensive. And they paid it, they got that and a music video out of him. So that bag that Travis got <laughs> was beautiful. Then after that is the song called Popa, Poopa, Papa, Poopa, Papa, Peepa, Papa, Peepa, Papa, Peppa, Papa, Peppa, Peppa, Pepper. <laughs> you get to potentially pay for Peppa, Papa, to Papa, to my Pecker. <laughs> And this, and now the gag is, this was the song everybody was telling me, like, Zach, you gonna love this one. Zach, she really did her big one. Girl, she tried, she tried to deepen her voice a little bit, and that's about it. Girl, let me, what this song sound like? I, what's she talking about on this song? May I mind you, this reminded me of, Jesus, I'm about to sin again. I'm gonna be in the minute again. It surely did, no shade. But we ain't gonna talk about it. My girl's flying in the boss. I definitely heard a little inspiration on Miss Papa Poopa Peepa Patty Peepa Potty Philip Peppa Peppa. I know you're trying to give us something different, but like, stop. Please. It's cringe. It's try hard. If I'm gonna be on JoJo Siwa's head about being try hard, I Spice to me is really a try hard in this hip hop space. No shade. Ooh, yeah. This album didn't do nothing for me but prove to me that Ice Spice ain't nothing but a pretty girl in a wig and an Instagram model that tried to be a rapper. That's what this is. And no shade, her talking about she taking people's spots and other girls are flopping, talking about Cardi and possibly Lotto. Girl, what spot are you taking? Can we honestly be on, like, like for real, for real, for real, for real, for real, for real, for real. Not even trying to be like hateful or funny or a key on her time. On a serious note, I need you to zoom in for me. What spot is Ice Spice taking? Cause my girl is barely holding her own spot. Uh, for like, for like, come on, like, okay. Yes, Cardi B is having an interesting few couple years, and I'm gonna have a call with y'all about that pretty soon. So I'm just getting my notes together. But Cardi's flop is like Ice Spice's success. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like, you know what I'm like? Come on now. And yes, Lotto is dragging it for real with like the sugar, sugar honey iced tea and like think I'm the fart and all that. Like she's dragging it, you know, Lotto. You are dragging it. You're giving this girl a lot of credit. Why are we giving her that much play? You know, Lotto, like don't give that girl that much credit. Like you really are dragging it. But she now feels as though like, oh my God, I'm giving her a moment. I'm giving Lotto this moment. And I'm not even the biggest Lotto fan. I love her as an artist, but I, I don't bump Lotto every day. Like it's not like my, one of my girls. However, comma, Lotto and Cardi, the girls that like clearly don't really live for Ice Spice, 
They doing way better than you, Miss Ice Spice Girl. What else on this tired ass album that they paid millions of dollars for? That's the crazy part. Capital, you ought be shame. Girl, y'all spent so much money on this tired ass album and I know y'all probably gonna make it back on investment though. That's the guy, cause I'm sure people do care about this girl, but girl, I don't see this selling no more than 40K in this first week. It could do more. I don't, do we even have the numbers on Ice Spice first week numbers yet? Or is it too soon? Cause I would love to know. Cause Megan did 64K. And if she do more than Megan, I know something. I know something, bitch. We're not gonna sit up here and do that. What's the next song? Bitch, I'm packing. Bitch, I'm packing is packing me. <laughs> bitch, I'm packing has packed me to no end. She sound like she's running up a flight of stairs and just got done eating a pack of pork chops. I hate it. Packing. Like, what girl? Ooh! It's so redundant and so ridiculous that Gunna came through and saved the song, thank God. Gunna did a lot better than Travis did on this album. I could tell Gunna said, okay girl, you over there trying to change your voice, deepen your voice, sound like you're out of breath, and trying to like give a new cadence. I'm just gonna do what I do, and you do with this verse what you will. It sounded like Gunna said, I'm gonna take my check and I'm gonna give you this verse, girl, but you do what you do over there with that. That's interesting. Plenty Sun. What? What? I have Plenty Sun. What? I don't even know what to say about Plenty Sun. It's 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 remedial. Also, another remedial. Something like she makes my head hurt. Did it first though with Central C is a really cute little bop. That's the only song off the album so far that I was like, oh, okay, all right, that's cute. This is fab for you, Miss Girl. That's the best I can give it. You know, it is, it's it's typical Ice Spice. Like, it ain't nothing new. It sounds like she and her mood, to be quite honest with you. But, like, it has the same cadence as she and her mood. So, it works. You know, it sounds reminiscent of the old things she's done. So, that's why it works. BB Belt. Actually, the beat for BB Belt is actually very fab. But this is the song I was like, girl, you trying to come for the girls. And, yes, Cardi changed her face and things like that. But, like, that's not the girl you should go after. I feel like, because Cardi ain't released no music since 2018, for real. Oop, say that. Because Cardi has released a lot of music since 2018. But you know what I'm saying. She ain't released no album since 2018. And because of that, I feel as though the new girls feel like they can come for her. Like, I know Cardi's not consistent with dropping bops. And I know they ain't doing as crazy numbers as they used to. But, like, these new girls feel as though they can try Cardi, and that's crazy to me. But that's what they did to Nicki, too. They did the same thing to Nicki. When, Nicki, when the new girls came out, they feel like they could just try Nicki right off the hand. And I'm like, like, girl, what? But, like, trying Cardi right off the bat is crazy to me. Like, let's not forget this bitch track record is insane. Cardi, though she is, like I said, these past few years been interesting. But it's still Cardi B. Like... Cardi B is still one of the biggest rap stars in the world. Like, let's not act like it. And Ice Spice Girl, you're barely here. Like, girl, Ice Spice Girl, you're barely here. Ooh, yeah. uh, of course, thank you to Shit Fart is the next song after that. Give me a light, hate that song, and then talk to you later. Don't even know what she was talking about, because girl, what? Not memorable, talk to you later is not memorable. Five out of the 10 songs were singles. That tells me that the label had no faith in this album whatsoever because they needed to get as much of the material out there as they could to see what could work. Because, girl, what else was there? Nothing. Like, this was really, really bad. This album, I will never listen to this album again in my life. I promise you, you will never catch me going back to this album, wanting to check it again. It is quite interesting it just this album and her her as a let me oh girl i'm about to just really take it there i'm sorry i'm gonna edit um, i'm gonna edit this how we need to edit it but i'm about to take it there her being famous in general shows me where we at as a people in this music industry because this is pure shit. no shade ice spice is on the same level as like a, a little pump to me you remember little pump like ice spice is like six nine little pump Female version. Like, put her on that version for me. Because I don't see anything besides her being pretty in that Annie tired ass wig. Girl, I don't see nothing else there. No shade. And this is why I'm like, 
There are so many other rap girls out there that we can give it to. But for some reason, for some reason, for, for some light-skinned, pretty privileged-ass reason, girl. We got Sweetie. We got Lotto. That's for the, for the light-skinned girls I like to just give for light-skinned privilege. There you go. Give her something. But for people that really love female hip-hop or just love hip-hop in general, why can't we give this kind of hype to Flo Millie, to Baby Tate, to Dochi? F***ing Dochi. Like, Dochi. Like, that's the one. That is the one. She is the one. Dochi is the one. But for some reason, here we are with Ice Spice and her poopy and her fucking thongs. And by the way, if Ice Spice does not have a thong or underwear panty line by the end of this year, someone should be fired. Just saying. Somebody in your team should be fired, girl, because you need to have some type of panty line. As much as you talk about your tired ass panties, you need to have a panty line. You know, Ms. Lotto uses her little panties and like her cheetah print panties. I think Ice Spice did a better job at marketing panties. Cause every, about 80% of her songs, bitch, she's talking about her panties. If Ice Spice don't have a Depends, <laughs> a panty liner commercial or something, girl, at this point, girl, girl. I just feel as though we have so many other female rappers out here that are killing it, bringing innovation, bringing different flows, trying to show different sides of female hip hop and to also genre bend the, the genre of female hip hop in the first place. And they're pushing it. But here we are looking at Ice Spice and I now see why Sweetie never dropped a debut album. Because if you're not ready for that, you're not ready for it. And when I tell you, girl, did you see that interview where uh, Ka Kasanat and Ice Spice and Ice Spice said, oh my God, did you like my album? Kasanat was trying not to tell no lie. He was trying not to tell no lie, but girl, he was. She was up there like, "Oh my God, did I didn't? Did you like it?" He's like, "You know, you always drop the heat, girl." Let's move on though. Let's talk about something else. And he'll try to talk about something else, and then she'll be like, "Oh, so what do you mean? Like, did you like this part?" And he's like, "Oh, oh, oh, you know, you know that one part of the song that you did like this, like it was cool, you know." He's he was like, "You know, you changed," and she was like, "For the better, sure." He said, "He's like, you know, yeah." You got better at what you do. And meanwhile, the, towards the end of the interview, he like, bitch, that ass is fat. Like, God damn. The girls look for you, for the prettiness, for the body, for the look. That's about it. It's not the talent, because there's no talent there. There's no talent there. This girl said the same 15 sentences in all 10 of these tracks. Like, girl. There is no talent there. And I'm now I can say it with my chest because the album is out. Because I said, I'll wait till the album is out to see. And, you know, maybe I'll retract my statements. Girl, please, ain't nothing here besides keeping you invested to watch what else you're going to do. There's the talent there. I wouldn't be surprised if Ice Spice is on baddies very soon. Like, no shade. Girl, put her on baddies. Give her a reality show on Zeus or something. And maybe, you know, maybe that'll do it. But, like, music... Hang it up, girl. Hang it up. I am, we can, if I would not mind by the end of this year, the Ice Spice train is wrapped up and out of the station. Like, girl, give me a new girl. Give me somebody else to live for. Give me a new girl to push. And I really do wish it was my uh, Baby Tates or Flo Millies or Dochies, but I know how that's gonna go. I know y'all gonna find another little ice girl, girl that can twerk and do something. You know what I mean? What about we give it to my, what's my other girl? Uh, tell your girlfriend I've been thinking. Tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him. Girl, what about Miss Lay Banks? Give this momentum push to Lay Banks. At least Lay Banks, girl, she was a stud and now she a femme queen. Like, I like the storyline. You know what I mean? Like, I like, give me something else. Like, I like that she got something going on and she can sing, she can rap, she can dance, she's likable. I like it. I want more of Miss Lay Banks. There's just more girls out here to really get into. And Ice Spice, hang it up, girl. Please, can we move on from this girl? Please, I beg of you. Like, if, as a general audience, I know y'all like her fat butt and her light-skinned and, and her prettiness and all that. She don't even give you no personality. Her interviews are boring as shit, too. So she's not even funny or anything. It's just like, you're just pretty with a nice ass. And I know that works for the straight boys. But like, wake up, please, please. If you want a fat ass, go watch Glorilla. <laughs> go watch Megan. Go watch Nikki. There's a lot of fat asses out there that can get your life. I promise you. 
This one ain't it. <laughs> I just don't like where we've come in the music industry where we will let this mediocrity be so loud. We've let this mediocrity be so loud. I'm sorry. I just, I just don't like that. There's so many other beautiful, beautiful girls out here that are working their asses off. And you got people like Doja Cat, who's light-skinned and who's biracial and literally working her ass off to not even rely on her color of her skin and or the beauty that she has. She's like, bitch, I want y'all to focus on my craft. So I see people like that that's paired with Ice Spice because she went on tour. Ice Spice went on tour with Doja and I said, ooh, girl, please. Oh, girl. Oh, please. Y'all can have it. Then we got JT that's up here releasing her album. At this point, give it to JT. Give all the press to JT, please. 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 Somebody. Give her something. Because I, the, the Ice Spice train, I, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I don't have nothing else to say about this album. I don't have nothing else to say about her. I wish her the best, but like I really do hope this, this is the end of Ice Spice. I really do hope that after this album, she just moves on to another career path that doesn't do nothing with music. I take it offensive. I do take it offensive that this girl does music. I do. I take it offense that this girl, Ice Spice, does music. Because after, after, at this point, millions of dollars have been put into this album, I bet you. Millions of dollars. That could have been gone to so many other artists that deserved it. It's probably on this label that needs that type of funding. And y'all gave it to this, this. <laughs> I'm usually never this nasty towards somebody. Like, I'm usually, like, never this nasty towards a new artist that's developing. But let me tell you something. I like new artists that are actually developing, that are actually have something to say, actually got something to prove. Like, Chaperone. You know, like, Chaperone is another, like, that's, a, that, that, that's talent. Blow her up. Keep going, bitch. I like you, miss bitch. I like that girl right there. Because she got something to say. She got something to prove. Got something to do. Here we are with Ice Spice. My poopy. Look at my body. And I bend over my chicken, my shit. Ooh, girl. Please. If we got rid of 6 9 if we got rid of Little Pump and all them, put her in that pal. Let her go with them. I said what I said. And I don't apologize for that. At all. Period. All right, tired ass army. I love y'all for answering my call as always. I don't have nothing else to say about this album. Just know that it is God awful. If you want to watch the full reaction to this tired ass album, it is a key. It is in the tired ass Patreon right now. First link description below. Go watch it. Go get your life. All right, tired ass army. I would love to hear your comments below. What you guys think about Ice Spice's album? Maybe you have something different. Maybe you love it. Maybe this is your jam. And I could be wrong. And you know, I'm open for conversation. So. Let me know in the comments below. All right, Tardis Army. I love y'all for picking up my call as always. And I will call y'all back real soon. <laughs> Bye, Army. I mean, like, ooh, girl, and that, the poopies and the thongs and shaking my shit. And ooh, girl, just let it go. Please let it go. Move on. Can we, ooh, can we move on to something else? Please, I beg you. I beg of you.